guys, so today we're going to shoot a, a short video for you to show you how to paint a used nose cover for your car, a bumper cover for your car, if you are trying to just make it look better or maybe you want to resell it so you need to increase the value of it a little bit, but you don't want to spend a ton of money to do it. Um, a lot of the aftermarket bumpers or nose covers, whichever you prefer to call it, that are bought brand new, can run in excess of two and three hundred dollars. This particular one, we actually went to pick and pull, pulled it ourselves. You can see it looks nice and straight, but we've got to do some paint repair on it. But we got it for 30 bucks. So big difference. So for those of you that are on a budget or maybe you just want your car to look decent to drive, maybe you are, like I said, going to resell it and just need to bring that value up a little bit, this video is going to be for you. Um, so, I'm taking over for the car man today, so I really am going to need you guys to subscribe and like my videos. I've got this competition going on with him. I'm just kidding. But anyway, um, basically the first thing you're going to want to do is wash it, which you can see. I've already done that. We just used Dawn, um, and then we used a little bit of a degreaser. But you can see in here, can you see that camera guy? There's a lot of clear coat peel on this bumper cover, so we don't want to paint this or prep it for paint without getting rid of some of this stuff. So um, all we use, again Dawn with some water. And this is just a piece of 1200 grit sandpaper for wet sanding. You might, you can go with an 800, you can go with a thousand, um, but I'm going to use a 2000 grit. And basically I'm going to hit the areas that are heaviest first. You're going to use that soap and water. And you're just going to do real about medium pressure because you're just trying to take off all of this dead stuff and all of this peeling, which you'll probably see that start to lift here. Yeah, look at that. Lift it under my finger. And see how it already is starting to flake away? And that's what you don't want to happen once you've done your first coat of paint. You know, that's you want to take the little bit of time that it takes to prep it and have it ready to go. There you go. See that piece lifting off? And what this will do is make sure you've got a really nice, smooth surface to accept your primer, your paint, whatever it is that you're going to be going to your car. Don't realize how bad that really looks till you get started. And then you're just going to do this. Maybe your nose cover, your bumper cover doesn't need it all over. This one really does, as you can see, all the way over into here. It's got all of the peel. So I'm going to take the few minutes it'll take to do this. And we're going to pause so we don't bore you guys to death while we're doing the, just the wet sanding. And then we'll be right back with you. Okay, guys. So, basically what we've had to do was actually I changed grit, sandpaper, and for the wet sanding and went up to a 2000. Because I don't know how well you can see, but you see where I've been sanding on this. Clear coat is really in pretty bad shape, and if you don't sand deep enough to get this off and smooth all this out, because you want a smooth surface, then what's going to happen is you're going to take all this time to do this little bit of prep with wet sanding, and then you're going to paint it, and your paint is going to show up with all of those cuts and rough spots from the old paint and the old clear coat. Are you able to see that camera guy? picking it up good yeah so basically we're making it smooth remember in all our videos we say a smooth surface is a shiny surface so you might as well do all your work with your sandpaper in order to get a nice shine when it's done this is all about doing this cheap and doing it for a good price um, like what do you think we'll have in this when we're done well I was telling them earlier in the video just an, um, we just went to the pick and pull pulled this nose cover for 30 bucks and then What's your dupe color? About $8 a can? 
Yeah, so you're about, you're going to be in this little project about... 50, you think? 50, maybe 55. And I've got to pull the, we're going to pull the, pull the grill pieces next. Anything you can take off this for the paint's what you want to do, because it's just such a pain in the butt, and plus it leaves lines. And I believe they hold so. the little, this particular one has the little star keys. Yeah, it's just out. a little small star right there, probably some pop-ins. Probably uh, this right here is an adhesive on the Pontiac emblem, so we're not going to mess with that. We'll just cover it. All right, stay tuned. Hey, guys. So we've already gone ahead and we have done our wet sanding. You can see where some of the heavier spots were. Been letting it sit here and dry. Um, it has been completely wiped down in acetone which you want to make sure you do prior to putting your primer and prior to doing the paint because the acetone is going to remove anything that would cause the primer to not adhere to the plastic. Um, once you've done that and it's dry, the next thing you want to do is take out these little grill pieces and I'm just using a Torx star to do that. And it is a tin. And then you've got the one little screw right here. Oh, maybe you do. Okay. And then it will just slip out. I don't know if you can see real good up here, but it's got these two little edges. And they just slip right up into this part. So we're going to take those off and set them aside so they're not in the way of your paint. And then we're going to also tape up the Pontiac emblem. We're not going to go ahead and remove that. Just going to tape it up to cover it. Okay, so then all we've done is take some tape to cover up the Pontiac emblem and then we use a razor blade to cut down and make sure that the track is perfect. You don't want any paint or overspray and voila, your emblem is covered. Alright, so my girl's got this thing ready to rock and roll. Looks like we're good to go. Um, got a couple little water drops here. Give me a second, let me take care of a few of these and we'll spray this thing. So we're making sure that there's no water and it's been it's been uh, wiped by acetone or you can get uh, paint prop, anything you want. But whatever you do, put something on it to make sure nothing's going to keep this uh, stuff from adhering. So anyway, the first step is with any kind of paint job you see us doing or kind of work, this little home project here, you can just use the Duplicolor Perfect Match. Scratch filler is going to take care of a lot of your issues. And the first thing you do is just a dust coat. You're going to see how well it's going to try to stick. And you're kind of looking for these things called fish eyes. You're looking for some place that it just doesn't want to stick. So far, so good. Ah, right, she even did a good job on the Pontiac. Took out the... I'm going to have to keep that girl around. along here. I see we had uh, some deep, uh, must have had some serious paint damage there. Very it's deep. nice though, no problems. Had a, a lot of heavy clear coat damage. Now we're going to be painting the color red. Never try to cheapskate and go without the $7 primer, especially with the color red. Because any color underneath it is going to change the color you're painting it. So, color is very sensitive when it comes to the color red. Looks like she's kind of humming along there. Alright, moving right along here. This might be a good time to talk about painting the bottom of the black. Since it is a bright cherry red car. Looks like one can's gonna do it, guys. Which is awesome. When we get done with this, we're gonna come back and uh, sand it, and then we're gonna um, see what we can do as far as uh, painting it. It's looking pretty decent, though. It's covered all right. We kind of come back down to here. 
Of course, honestly, the lower you go on a car, it's just you don't have to be perfect because it's just not in that field of vision for most people. cover this stuff up because anything you don't cover up now you're gonna have to talk about later and it looks like for the most part it's covering this is pretty good for a junkyard all right go ahead and cut it and we'll uh, come back and show them the finished product okay. so we've got it primed it's dry and uh, Kind of got a thousand grit paper here, just trying to make sure it's nice and smooth. I, I really want a real nice smooth surface because I'm all about the shine. All right, I think we're about ready to let it rip. Let it rip, tater chip. That's what I say. All right, one, one nice little last dust off. By the way, when you're doing this, make sure you don't touch it with your hands directly. Because you don't want to transfer any oil from your hands. And uh, looks like all the damage that was on the old bumper from the junkyard, pretty much, we've uh, either sanded away or it's been covered by the primer. So that's pretty awesome. Can't ask for a much better result than that. Okay, we're about ready to go here. Now she's going to have to be red, and it's really hard to match reds, but you know, i got to say, the little Duplicolor guys, they, they do a pretty good job. If you'll just prime the color, um, they're usually spot on. Uh, Alright, pause for a second, let me grab my paint. So we're going to go with a dust coat. And the first area I'm going to concentrate is on the top level, because this right here is what everyone's going to see. Obviously, it's what's reflecting the shine. Let me give her a little test spot here real quick. All right. So we know we're shooting good. See that pink color? We've got a long way to go for it to turn red. Now, once you prime, your paint goes a lot further. Put that little dust coat on her. Got a lot of real estate to cover. These little, you gotta kind of pay attention to these little cracks. That's kind of where I'm going first with this. Can's giving me plenty of coverage, so we'll just kind of keep our fingers crossed we can actually do something with this. And 
and hopefully I got enough to go around this one. All right, so now I'm going to go around here and look for this thing. I'm looking for spots that don't have an even uh, paint coverage. Looks like the paint coverage is actually pretty good. Just to give you an up close there. All right, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to break out the clear because this is a two-stage paint. This is nice and dry. Looks like the coverage is awesome. So we're going to definitely uh, just clear it now and call it a day. Okay, kind of playing around with this a little bit. This has got clear on it. I just shot a little bit of clear on this. And this right here will give you an idea how dull this is. And how clear that is. But anyway, guys, um, this is going to be about a wrap on this. We're going to turn around and... Um, I'm going to finish clear coating it, and then I'm going to show you one last shot, and then uh, I'll go ahead and then I'm going to color sand and buff it, but I'm not going to do that until it's installed back on the car, so look at the Grand Am's finish pictures, or the uh, walk around finish on the Grand Am, and you'll see this thing completed and what it looks like installed on the car. Alright guys, uh, be right back in a second to show you what this thing looks like done as far as clear coating. Okay guys, here it is with the clear coat. She's definitely a done deal now. Look how pretty she is. And the last phase, of course, we've got to put these grill back in and um, we're going to color sand it. And uh, just trying to give you an idea of what that sucker looks like. Looks like the color's pretty close, too. Once again, I mean, uh, really impressed with this Dupla color. It. Uh, yeah, it's one of those things, if they've got the color, man, you can really save yourself a lot of money just kind of uh, doing a little job like this. So, anyway, guys, that's how we do it. It looks like we've uh, we went and bought a bumper cover and painted it for less than about 55 bucks. So, anyway, uh, like I said, tune in next time for the, uh, the walk around the Grand Dam, or the finish. You'll see the word finished and walk around Grand Dam. And you'll see what this thing looks like and how it stacks up against the other paint. Alright guys, please subscribe. I hope you enjoyed. Mm, there you go. There you go. That's what she looks like done. Alright, see you guys.